my next portal would be the antidepressants. And again, this is a can of worms. It has to be done really, really tactfully because these patients have been told they're depressed or they're crazy. And I've, at part of the interview, have almost overplayed the fact that I say, look, this isn't a psychological illness, because I don't believe it is a psychological illness. I believe psychological factors make it worse. There are two types of antidepressants. There are the modern, um, in our country it's called Prozac, it's probably called something different over here. They're called SSRIs, and there are the old-fashioned tricyclic antidepressants. And I don't use the modern antidepressants. We exclusively use the old-fashioned ones. And so I say to the patient, look, I'm going to use an old-fashioned antidepressant. If I thought you were depressed, I'd use a modern one because they're much better antidepressants. I'm going to use it at a tenth the dose that I would use if I was using it for depression. And I'm going to try it very gently on you, and I'll do a deal with you. If this hasn't worked in three months, I'll never mention the word antidepressant again. But I'm all, only asking you to take it for three months. And if it works, you can then make a choice whether it, you take it or not. If it doesn't work, I'm going to be off your case with antidepressants. The, the antidepressant we use, I don't know if it's available in your country, is called nortriptyline. And there is one called amitriptyline that has a few more side effects. But nortriptyline, at the dose we use, virtually zero side effects. And the way we get around this is start sometimes at 5 milligrams, whereas an antidepressant dose would be 100 and 150 milligrams. So we go in very gently at the beginning. If you go in at a low dose and just build it up just a little bit, perhaps 5, 10, 15 milligrams, that's enough to help the majority of patients. But again, these aren't cure-alls. I would say 50% of our patients are helped by them. But that's, you know, when they're abject failures coming to you and you're helping that group so and then I say to the patients look the only three side effects that you're going to I warn them of the side effects that you're going to be troubled by are sleepiness so take it at night and they say well that's good I don't sleep very well I'll take them dry mouth can't do a thing about that oh I can put up with that and constipation now if they're diarrhea patients of course that's a treat and if they're a constipation patient I say no problem, we'll give you a little bit of a laxative. And they say, oh, laxative. I say, well, you know, that's not a problem. They don't damage the bowel. We'll just give you a small dose of a laxative just to compensate for the effect of the antidepressant. So you can usually get most patients taking them. A few will get side effects, the main one being drowsiness. But as I say, if you give it at night, that's usually not a problem. And then... Uh, you, you go for your three months and then if at the end of three months they're no better, I say, sorry, this is not going to work and we will have to abandon it. So if a patient doesn't respond to an antidepressant or only partly responds to an antidepressant because nothing's all or none in this illness, uh, then we will go for the hypnotherapy program.